Governor Rick Scott has declared a state of emergency ahead of a controversial speech on the University of Florida campus. Alt-right speaker Richard Spencer is the man at the center of violence that unfolded in Charlottesville. News Channel 8's Avery Cotton is in Gainesville for us tonight where protests have already begun. Good evening. In just two days, white supremacist Richard Spencer will make his first public speaking appearance since the deadly rallies in Charlottesville right here on the campus of the University of Florida. Students are being urged not to attend. Already, peaceful protests and teach-ins are taking place on campus, one in particular from the group No Nazis at UF. For fear of his safety, one of the organizers wishes to stay anonymous. Our plan is to use our First Amendment rights uh, to practice free speech and protest against this uh, this person who, uh, abu who is abusing his right to free speech and is practicing hate speech. Meanwhile, campus officials are making sure security is tight. Barricades are placed outside the Phillips Center where Spencer will be speaking. Do you think this could turn into another Charlottesville situation? That's crossed my mind and I was talking to our chair, our chairman, and he was like, I don't think it will, but we want to make sure that we are covering all ba all the bases of, pre of prevention. UF is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars for security to keep protests and rallies from turning violent. Governor Rick Scott also taking no chances by issuing a state of emergency. News Channel 8 is your station for all updates concerning Spencer's visit here on Thursday. Our live coverage begins tomorrow morning on News Channel 8 today. In Gainesville, Avery Cotton, News Channel 8. Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi spoke out against Richard Spencer today. She's calling on UF students to boycott his speech Thursday. I, there's no place right now for this, but, you know, free speech, if he's going to get up there and do it, he's going to do it, but, but we're going to make sure our students and our citizens are, are protected.